Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Ankit Parak. I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. Do you know that asthma attacks can be severe and they can be life threatening? So asthma attacks or flares are episodes when children get increase in their asthma symptoms. Now these episodes sometimes can be mild, but sometimes these episodes can be severe. And in these situations, children need to be hospitalized for their care and even sometimes into an ICU. So let's understand first why asthma episodes happen. Now, children with asthma have swelling in their airways, which are also called as bronchi. Now, during an asthma flare, the swelling or the inflammation increases. The airway produces more of mucus or phlegm, and the muscles around the airway become more tight. Now, when this happens, the space which is there inside the airway becomes narrow, and hence it becomes difficult for the child to breathe. In this situation, there would be increase in symptoms and that is what is known as an asthma attack. So asthma attacks sometimes are mild when they just have some coughing, wheezing and some difficulty in breathing. But sometimes they can be severe and sometimes they can be you know, life threatening for a child. So what are the symptoms of a severe asthma attack in children? Children with asthma sometimes have increase in symptoms like they start coughing, they start to wheeze. So wheezing is a whistling sound which is heard from the chest when they are breathing out. Something like this. They can also have difficulty in breathing, they can become more breathless. Now, as the asthma attack progresses, sometimes these symptoms would increase. They would find it difficult to breathe and in addition, you will find that uh, their muscles try hard to breathe. And when that happens, there would be some amount of flaring of the nose. The, the, the muscles of the tummy will be working fast and the tummy will be moving quite fast. There would be chest in drawings here. There would be increase in the heart rate of the child, increase in the respiratory rate of the child. There would be a lot of sweating which would be seen. Children are not able to speak in sentences because they are too breathless to speak. And at this point of time, the oxygen levels also go down if one checks the oxygen saturation with an oximeter. Now, why do children get severe asthma episodes? Well, the most important reason is, is an asthma which is poorly controlled. So many children have asthma symptoms, but they are not given proper medicines and hence the swelling or the inflammation inside the airways keep going on. And if that happens, then as soon as a trigger comes into the environment, which can be in the form of viral infections, which can be in the form of pollution, which can be in the form of any allergen, which can be in the form of some irritants, the airways would react and the child will get an asthma episode. They can be seasonal variations. So asthma episodes are more seen during a viral season. They are more seen, seen when the season would change. Asthma episodes are more common in pollen season. Now, what can we do to reduce the asthma episodes or what can we do to prevent severe asthma episodes? So there are three things which should be done. The first is that if a child has asthma, then he needs a proper diagnosis and proper treatment 
so that the inflammation or the swelling inside the airways keep well. Now with preventive inhalers, the swelling almost is nil and the risk of having future asthma episodes is severely reduced and children keep well. So that is the first thing that children with asthma need preventive inhalers to keep well and that is something which should be done for all children. Second, we should try and reduce the amount of triggers and the irritants uh, and, the, and the allergens in the environment. So we should try and do measures to reduce dust mites, to reduce animal dander, to reduce cockroaches, fungus and reduce pollen exposure. In addition, triggers and irritants like cigarette smoke, paints, perfumes, deodorants, agarbatti, dhupattis, mosquito coils, these should be reduced and they would help to reduce asthma attacks. And the third is that any child with asthma should have an asthma action plan. So that's the written plan which tells parents and patients what is to be done if they have an increase in the asthma symptoms, what medicine should be taken in the emergency to keep well. Now, if any child has asthma, we would always give an asthma action plan at our clinic. So if your child is having frequent asthma episodes, if your child is having a poorly controlled asthma, if your child is having asthma and still keeps coughing and wheezing, you need to get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist to get adequate care and keep him absolutely well. For more information, you can log on to our website ankitparak.com. Thank you.